वेक्टर एल्जेब्रा इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस स्केलर एंड वेक्टर क्वांटिटी यूनिट वेक्टर्स पोजिशन वेक्टर डिस्टेंस वेक्टर एडिशन एंड सप्रैक्शन ऑफ वेक्टर्स देन प्रोडक्ट लाइक डॉट प्रोडक्ट क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट स्केलर ट्रिपल प्रोडक्ट वेक्टर ट्रिपल प्रोडक्ट एंड फाइनली द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ वैक्टर और प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ वन वैक्टर इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ अनदर वैक्टर इन कार्टेशियन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम और रेक्टेंगुलर कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ स्केलर क्वांटिटी इट इज द क्वांटिटी दैट हैज that has magnitude like a is scalar quantity and it has magnitude 3.2 b is scalar quantity and it has a magnitude uh, 60 so these are the scalar quantity it has no direction it could be a distance now vector it is the quantity that has magnitude and direction like a is vector and it has magnitude 3.2 in x direction b is another vector and it has magnitude 60 in in minus y direction so here a and b are the vectors with magnitude and the directions where ax is unit vector in x direction ay is unit vector in y direction so in cartesian coordinate we write vector as ax ax ay ay az az Where a x small a x small a y small a z are the unit vectors in x y and z directions respectively. And capital a x capital a y and capital a z are the magnitudes in x y and z directions. so in cartesian coordinate system we have three axes x y z which is a right right hand system we will use right hand system it means y axis is 90 degree in anti clockwise direction from x axis and z axis is at 90 degree in anti clockwise from y axis this is a right hand system we have three unit vectors unit vector means its magnitude is unity ax is unit vector in x direction ay is unit vector in y direction and az is unit vector in uh, z direction and this angle is 90 degree between ax and ay angle between ay and az is also 90 degree and angle between az and ax is 90 degree it means the three unit vectors of cartesian coordinate system are mutually perpendicular or mutually orthogonal in fact in any uh, coordinate system uh, their unit vectors are always mutually perpendicular now let's see the vector a is ax ax ay ay az plus az az so this capital ax is the magnitude of vector a in x direction so this is ax in x direction magnitude is ax in x direction and then plus ay so we will move in y direction and distance is ay 
this is ay and plus az it means we will move in z direction and the distance is az this is az not vector magnitude in x direction ax magnitude in y direction is ay and magnitude in z direction is az and that's how we get the vector a this is vector a now unit vector in the direction of in the direction of a this is denoted by a a cap or just a in subscript capital a unit vector in the direction of capital a it is vector a by mod a and the magnitude of this vector vector a is ax square plus ay square plus a that is square root over so this unit vector in the direction of capital a is ax ax plus ay ay plus az az divided by mod of vector a that is square root of ax square plus ay square plus az square and if it is unit vector then its magnitude is obviously 1 now let's see what is position vector and distance vector if we have a point p and its coordinate is x1 y1 or just x y z its coordinate is x y z in cartesian coordinate system this point p is located somewhere uh, here x y z and the coordinate of origin is 0 0 0 then position vector of this point p is denoted by r p and it is x minus 0 ax plus y minus 0 ay plus z minus 0 az or simply position vector of point p is x ax plus y ay plus z az this is the position vector now what is distance vector suppose we have two points p and q p is x p y p coordinate of point p is x p y p z p and coordinate of point q is x q y q and z q then the distance vector is denoted by r p q and this is r q position vector of uh, point q minus position vector of point p so the distance vector r p q is x q minus x p a x plus y q minus y p a y plus z q minus z p a z similarly we can write distance vector uh, as r q p and the r q p will be r p minus r q and it is nothing but minus r p q now let's see the products uh before moving to product first we see 
एडिशन एंड सब्रैक्शन If we have two vectors a and b, then addition of vector a and b is c. Then vector addition vector a plus वेक्टर बी दिस विल गिव वेक्टर सी दिस वेक्टर इज सी सपोज ए इज ए एक्स ए एक्स ए वाई ए वाई A Z, A Z, and B is B X, A X, B Y, A Y, B Z A Z. Then vector C is A plus B, and it is. We will add the corresponding magnitudes. A X, B X, A X, plus A Y. Plus b y, a y, plus a z, plus b z, a z. That's how we perform vector addition. Now suppose we have to take the sub subtraction. Suppose vector d is a minus b. Here we have vector b, and this one is vector a. and we have to perform a minus b so minus b this is minus b or better to write from here minus b a minus b opposite to b this is minus b a minus b is d so this one is vector d okay and d is ax minus bx ax ay minus by ay az minus bz az so that's how we perform vector addition and subtraction now let's see the products if we have two vectors then we can perform uh, dot product and the cross product and if we have three vectors then we can perform scalar triple product and vector triple product dot product means a dot b and dot product is this scalar quantity and cross product is a cross b and cross product is cross product of two vectors is vector quantity in case of scalar triple product we perform a dot b cross c and it is uh, scalar quantity and in vector triple product we perform a cross b cross c which is a vector quantity so first let us see the dot product if you have two vectors a and b theta ab then 
a dot b a dot b is mod of vector a into mod of vector b into cosine of theta a b this is the dot product of two vectors and if we have the dot product of two vectors then we can find the angle between acute angle between the two vectors because cos theta a b is a dot b divided by mod a mod b or theta a b angle between the between two vectors is cos inverse a dot b divided by mod a mod b now as we have seen that in um, cartesian coordinate or in rectangular coordinate we have three unit vectors and uh, the three unit vectors are mutually orthogonal or mutually perpendicular ax ay az this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree this angle is also between z and x is 90 degree now let us find out what is a dot ax dot ay ax and ay both are unit vectors so mod ax mod ay and cosine of angle between two vectors that is 90 degree so ax dot ay mod of ax is 1 mod of ay is 1 and cos 90 is 0 so ax dot ay is 0 it means if two vectors are mutual are perpendicular then the dot product of two vectors is 0 ax dot ay is 0 similarly ay dot az these two vectors are mutually perpendicular so its dot product is zip their dot product is 0 az dot ax this is also 0 now um, ax dot ax ax dot ax is mod ax that is 1 into mod ax that is also 1 and angle between ax and ax both the vectors are same so angle between the between them is 0 so cos 0 is 1 so ax dot ax is 1 similarly ay dot ay is also 1 az dot az is also 1 Now dot product is a scalar quantity and a dot b is equal to b dot a. Dot product is commutative. So we can also write that a y dot a x is also 0. A, a z dot a y is 0 and a x dot a z is also 0. Now, A dot B plus C is A dot B plus A dot C. It means dot product is distributive. And now A dot B dot C, in right hand side we have A dot B dot C. This is not valid in case of dot product or uh, we can say dot product is not uh, associative. Why? Because uh, A dot uh, B, sorry, B dot C is scalar quantity and A is a vector quantity and we cannot, we cannot find out the, it is meaningless, we cannot find uh, dot product of scalar and vector quantity. Okay, so this is not associative, dot product is not associative now if we have to find the components component of vector we'll start with scalar component of a vector
we have two vectors a and b and this is b an angle between a and b is theta a b so the scalar component of vector a in the direction of b this we can we can see this is mod a cos theta a b so scalar component of a in the direction of b in the direction of b is mod a cos theta ab and we know that a dot b is mod a mod b cos theta ab so the scalar component of a in the direction of b that was mod a cos theta ab can be written in terms of dot product that is a dot b a dot b divided by mod b or c b divided by mod b is the unit vector in the direction of b in the direction of vector b so a scalar component of a in the direction of vector b can be written as a dot unit vector of b now we can write the vector component vector component of uh, a in the direction of in the direction of b see we have the magnitude of uh, the component of a in the direction of b and uh, for vector component we just need to give the direction of b so this will be vector a dot unit vector in the direction of b into this is scalar this is just multiplication scalar multiplication into vector b this will give vector component of a in the direction of b uh, scalar component of a in the direction of b is also called projection of vector a in the direction of b which is scalar project projection and vector component of a in the direction of b uh, is also called vector projection of vector a in the direction of b now the cross product again we have two vectors a and b and a cross b is mod a mod b sin theta ab into an where an is is the unit normal vector and it is perpendicular to both a and b or it is perpendicular to the plane in which the two vectors two vectors exist find the direction of cross product we we use a uh, screw rule a cross b means screw is rotated in a uh, clockwise direction so screw will move uh, into the page and the direction of dot product will be into the page if we have to find uh, if you have to find the direction of uh, cross product b cross a in in case of b cross a screw will move in anti clockwise direction so if we rotate the screw in anti clockwise direction 
then the screw will move out of the page so this is the direction of b cross a out of the page and uh, into the page is the direction of a cross b we can also use the right hand thumb rule uh, in which curl of finger curl of four fingers are in the direction of uh, uh, a cross b and uh, the direction of thumb will show the direction of cross product so if we have the cross product of uh, two vectors a and b then we can write the magnitude of a cross b as mod a mod b sin theta ab and magnitude of unit vector a and unit normal vector is 1 so if we have sin sorry if we have cross product then then also we can find out the angle between two vectors that is sin inverse a cross b mod of a cross b divided by mod a mod b now if you have two vectors ax ax ay ay and a z a z another vector b is a sorry bx ax by ay bz az then see dot product of two vectors will be ax bx because ax dot ax is 1 and no need to find out ax dot ay and ax dot az because the dot product of two perpendicular vectors is 0 then ay ay sorry ay by and az bz this is the dot product now to find the cross product we can also find the cross product with this determinant of this matrix ax a, ax ay az here ax ay az then third row is bx by bz by finding the deter determinant of this matrix we can find out the cross product of uh, two vectors now ax cross ay cross product of unit vectors of cartesian coordinate this will be ax mod ax mod ay and the angle between two vectors is 90 degree let me draw the unit vectors ax sorry x y z ax ay and this is az here we are finding ax cross ay it means we are rotating the screw in uh, anti clockwise direction so a screw will move upwards in the direction of az so this az vector is unit normal vector for ax cross ay so this is az here so ax cross ay mod ax is 1 mod y is 1 sin 90 is 1 az so ax cross ay is az similarly ay cross az ay cross az is ax and az cross ax az cross ax is ay this is something like this ax ay az if you are uh, finding ax cross ay then this is az ax ay all are located in anti clockwise direction according to right hand uh, coordinate system then ay cross ay cross az is ax then az cross ax is ay now 
if we find a y cross a x if a y cross a x a y cross a x means we are rotating the screw in uh, clockwise clockwise direction so screw will move downwards and it is minus it a z direction so a y cross a x is minus a z similarly a z cross a y is a z cross a y is minus a x and a x cross a z is minus a y a x cross a z is minus a y so we can say that uh, a x sorry a cross b uh, is not equal to b cross a or cross product is not commutative because a cross b is minus of b cross a and a cross b plus c is a cross b plus a cross c this cross product is distributive and a cross b cross c is not equal to a cross b cross c this cross product is also not associative now let's see the scalar triple product in a scalar triple product we find a dot b cross c and uh, with the, with the example we can prove that uh, a dot b cross c is b dot a sorry b dot c cross a and it is equal to c cross sorry c dot a cross b and this is scalar triple product is scalar quantity now vector triple product in vector triple product we find a cross b cross c see if we have three vectors a b and c then we can directly find um, a cross first we find uh, b cross c and then uh, cross product with a but we see by using this uh, formula that is back cab we can find this is back cab we can find vector triple product that is p into a dot c minus c into a dot b in scalar triple product if you have b cross c which is uh, determinant of ax ay az uh, bx by bz cx cy cz and if we if we calculate the dot product of b cross c with a then uh, we have to find out vector a dot this determinant of matrix and uh, see this b cross c will be in the form of uh, um, some magnitude in x direction in plus some magnitude in y direction plus some magnitude in z direction and that three magnitude will be multiplied with magnitude of uh, a in x y and z direction so we can write this as instead of unit vector in x y and z we write magnitude of x magnitude of y magnitude of z in second row magnitude of 
b in x x direction magnitude of b in y direction magnitude of b in z direction and cx cy and cz by calculating the uh, determinant of this matrix we can directly find out a dot b cross c let's see few example based on vector algebra first question is vector a is ax plus 3az vector b is 5ax plus 2ay minus 6az and we have to find the angle between vector uh, vectors a and b so first let's find out a dot b a dot b is uh, 5 plus 0 minus 18 so this one is minus 13 and uh, mod a is 1 plus 3 square root over that is root 10 and mod b is 5 square plus 2 square plus 6 square root over that is 25 plus 4 plus 36 36 plus 4 40 means this is 65 now uh, theta a b is cos inverse a dot b divided by mod a mod b so cos inverse uh, a dot b is minus 13 and uh, divided by square root of 650 so this is uh, 120.65 degree next question is if a and b are normal to each other then what should be the value of alpha it is given that a and b are the normal vectors so obviously the dot product of vector a and b is uh, zero a dot b has to be zero so this is one into alpha plus alpha into one and uh, plus minus 3 into 2 that is minus 6 so 2 alpha is 6 or alpha is 3 here we have to find scalar component of this vector 6ax minus 2ay plus 5az along the another vector 3ax plus 4ay so uh, suppose this is vector a and this one is vector b so scalar component of uh, a in the direction of b is a dot uh, a dot b divided by mod b so a dot b is 6 into 3 18 minus 2 into 4 so minus 8 plus 5 into 0 is 0 divided by mod b means 3 square plus 4 square root over so 18 minus 8 is 10 and uh, 9 plus 16 25 square root of 25 is 5 so the scalar component of vector a in the direction of b is 2 in the fourth question if we have three vectors three vectors a and b three vectors a b and c um, and alpha a plus beta b plus c is parallel to y axis then we have to find out alpha and uh, beta so first let us find out a sorry alpha a plus beta b plus c alpha a plus beta b plus c so this is uh, 5 alpha minus beta plus 8 ax then uh, plus minus 3 alpha minus 6 beta plus 5 ay plus 
टू अल्फा प्लस सिक्स बीटा इज एड सो दिस इज ए अल्फा अल्फा ए प्लस बीटा बी प्लस सी एंड इट इज गिवन दैट दिस वैक्टर इज पैरल टू वाई एक्सिस इफ दिस वैक्टर इज पैरल टू वाई एक्सिस देन दिस दिस वैक्टर हैज नो एक्स एंड जेड कंपोनेंट इट मीन्स दिस वैक्टर विल हैव जस्ट वाई कंपोनेंट बिकॉज इट इज पैरल टू वाई एक्सिस सो फाइव अल्फा माइनस बीटा प्लस एट is zero similarly the coefficient of a that is also zero 2 alpha plus 6 beta is zero or we can say alpha is minus 3 beta now substitute alpha in 1 so this one is minus 15 beta minus beta plus 8 is zero or minus 16 beta plus 8 is zero or beta is 8 by 16 or 1 by 2 so alpha is minus 3 beta or minus 3 into 1 by 2 or minus 3 by 2 that's how we solve the various problems of vector algebra